Hello YouTube, this is Andrew here. I'm just doing something a bit different from my normal videos about Linux Mint 14 Cinnamon. This is how to get <coughs> how to get the um, how to get the Xbox 360 360 controller working on your Mac, and um, and this works on Mac OS line as well as Mac OS Mountain line. Now I got this from this guy here. I put the address in my description of the video as well. This is the guy who I got it from, and it's very good. And um, pretty much, I made a little um, text document here that tells you how to install and uninstall. So what you want to do is follow this guy's video. It's very simple. I don't know if Mediafire is still working since um, the unpleasantness, <coughs> since the unpleasantness with the whole crackdown, <coughs> whole crackdown on um, file sharing <coughs> in America. But um, you just download the controller, um, download the controller at, at list here, and this one too, and the uninstaller. And um, a media file. This is um, where you get the driver from. But also, if you can't, if this isn't working for you, just go and Google Tatty Boggle, and it's pretty much the first one on the list. Downloads. And what you want is, um, as it says here, what you want is a 0 0.08 um, version, because. Um, if you go for these ones here, above, they might not work. They might work, they might not. I've tried a, I've tried a couple of the few higher ones, but they, they haven't worked for me. A couple anyway. They could work for you, I don't know. But this is a way how to get it done and how and, and for it to work. Pretty much you download all that stuff that he mentions in, in his video. Then you, to, to install, I'll zoom in here. Sorry, this one. Yep. Zoom in here. There's to to install. You first double click on the 360 uh, 360 controller list. Um, sorry, a uh, 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 controller install 0 0.0 0 0.08 dot DMG. Then that and go through the install process, same as you do for most programs. And you go and grab this one and control the control list 15 and drag that onto the install new controller list, which will be um, an icon of the um, automation program, this one here. Or I, I, I'm not sure what's called, but um, it's some way to some way to automate um, processes on Mac. So you just go ahead, you grab this list here, grab this one, control list 15, which is this one here, and drag that onto here. And then it will start the install process. And um, you type in your password two times. And that's because it has to go through sort of two layers of password verification, pretty much. And to uninstall, you just um, says how to here. You open up the up the terminal program, which is this one, terminal, which is um, available on Linux as well. Then just t then you type in su s u d o space s h. Press enter. Then type in your password. Then you go and grab that file I had um, in the folder. Sorry, I'll go back to that. Downloads. Uh, sorry, Tatty Boggle. So you go and grab the untatty, which is um the uninstall. You grab that and untatty here, version two, um, and you just um drop that onto the terminal program, and that might ask you for a password or something. Just type in your password if it does. 
and that's uh, pretty much how to uninstall it um, as well. Um, this will say that it fails on the first go, but don't worry, as soon as it says fail, it means it's finished, just quit that and drop this file, the plist, onto the install um, onto the install dot app and um, and then it, and then you have to restart after this process is done. And that's pretty much it. And here's a quick a quick um a quick um sort of demo of how it works. I'll just stick in the controller here. Just take, just take my word for it that I am. I'm I'm not, I'm not lying to you. That that that'll be a bit pointless. You just go into the system preferences here, and all this stuff comes up. This is the one that you want, the the Xbox 360 controller. And now I'm pressing the thumbsticks, the buttons, all that business, and it works. As you see, it's lighting up, so it means it's working, and that's all good. So back to SNES. 9x, which I find is quite good for Super Nintendo. You just go to configure controllers, just press on that, press the key you want. I've already done this, so as you see, if I press on these buttons, it lights up on the little graphic there. You see? So, yep, just do that. Then here's an example here Super so, so Mario. Yeah, I'll just pause that. You now hold shift and drag this down to make it bigger. Because if you don't hold shift, it will not be in the correct ratio. And hold hold command and press R. It just says up here how to anyway to make it go again. Run. Command R. Sorry. It's all good to go. There's Mario. Mario All Stars. It has the first. It has the first few games from the Super and Nintendo, as well as the old Nintendo. You know this one. So I'll, I'll play one, just for example. Play one. Yep. There you go. You see, I'm, I'm Mario. If this is if this is jerky, it's because of the screen capture. But yeah, there we go. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And stop. Thank you for watching and goodbye.